amazing performance. There's George's Jeep and George's new parking bus stop. This video is sponsored by XZNY. We just got this new 48 volt lithium iron phosphate battery for the golf cart that we're gonna try out. Um, this is a really neat battery. We've had to, we upgraded our golf cart from 36 volt to 48 volts. So we're gonna test this out in here. It's a little bit smaller than one we previously had, which we had a real tight fit for it. So uh, it looks like it was packaged really nicely when it came. Um, it's 105 amp hours at 51.2 volts. Um, that's exactly what you want to have for a golf cart battery. This has a five-year warranty on it. That's a great warranty. It has a lot of great features. The IP67 waterproof structure on it. It has a built-in fire arrester. Uh, those are some really good features. The vibration-resistant compound that they use too. Uh, something in a golf cart that you're really going to be banging around, riding around in. That fire arrester, that's a really neat feature to have. I really like that. And then of course the waterproof, like I said, anything with the golf cart out in the weather a lot and getting sloshed around, uh, you don't wanna just put any battery up and under a golf cart for sure. There's plenty of room in our golf cart to fit this battery. Had the wrong date. Huh? Had the wrong date. Oh. Yeah, lift it up a little bit over that. You wanna grab the side and I'll help you? Can it drop down in that little lip there? I think it can. That stops it from going forward. Um, if you can just run a self tapper through right, there, right yeah. through that little thing, hold that, that'll hold it and it won't move anywhere. And then it won't go forwards or backwards. Probably there's not a shield around that either. Well, the other batteries went in here, there was nothing back there. No. We took it all out and moved it all around. This old golf cart is from the 80s, so it was made to have a bunch of small lead-acid batteries in there. So we did have to make a few modifications to get this to fit uh, and store uh, securely in there, but we were able to do it, uh, and it's very secure now. Uh, we're just going to get the wiring all hooked up here, and it's going to be pretty straightforward, positive and negative. It's like an inch and a half piece of angle aluminum down here in the frame that this battery is going to slip into and then it's got a mounting hole we'll be able to hook it to. So we ran some bolts down there in that ledge down there and that's holding the battery as a hold down so it can't move as we're through bolted to the bottom. That's weird. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's got two little hooks in the front. So we've had this in the golf cart for about a month now. Uh, it's amazing performance on it. Uh, it's 48 volts, it's supposed to be a 36 volt golf cart. The only thing that we changed to upgrade it to the 48 volt was that solenoid down there. Um, it's a power solenoid. Uh, electromagnet that then sends the power from the battery to the to the motor so that thing got updated it was about I don't know 30 40 bucks I think uh, and then the way the induction coil stuff works on here uh, when you're going slow it sends all the power through those heat coils first as a resistance uh, to make the load 
lower to the battery so you go slow so you're using just as much electricity if you go slow or fast we just mostly just drive it fast full pedal to the floor and if you want to let off and coast that's fine uh, that way we're not really using those coils and wasting the electricity to heat those up i'd rather have the energy go to the motor and this thing performs amazing on this battery which again is very secure in here you can't move it or budget it doesn't move around uh, 105 amp hours and it's amazing and we've added the charger in here and we just have a cord on the outside where we can plug it in every few days uh, but it, it i've gone a week without plugging it in and it does everything we need it to i just ran the charger cord right over here and i just plug an extension cord into it it's good to go out of the way that way the charger is always on board no matter where i can plug it in anywhere or hook it into a power station <laughs> Just nail it. <laughs> Do a donut right now. Nail it. Donut. <laughs> all this gravel. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> 48 volts. <laughs> I'm going to have to rake up the gravel. Parking lot. <laughs> It'll come back. It's good. Oh my gosh. All right. So real world testing. We've now had this in here for over two months now. Um, things looking a little dirty. We haven't cleaned anything up. It's been running flawlessly. So we put this in on um, March 13th, and it's now May 16th. Uh, so over two months, up and down the hill, daily, multiple times. No, no issues whatsoever. It's a lot of fun to drive. Uh, that golf cart battery is really performing as it should. Amazing performance. <laughs> <laughs> 